Hello, welcome back. I am Dr. Cool Autofix. In today's very video edition here, I'm going to be explaining and answering the question the self powered car from Matsuach and Butsu. Could it replace electric car? We're going to find out. Now, we already have the electric cars from different brands Mercedes, Volkswagen, BYD, NIO, Tesla and a whole lot of others that are still queuing up. When we talk about electric cars, they have a problem that is currently plaguing like every one of them. One that is above every other problem that electric cars have is range anxiety. A lot of you guys who have been listening or hearing about range anxiety might not know what it means. What it means is that when you charge up your car, you're gonna be worried more about when you're gonna be meeting the next charging station. And it doesn't end there. You're also going to be wondering, is there going to be some free space where you're going to pack up your car and charge or you're going to stay in a queue which you don't know how long it's going to take you for you to charge up that car. That is one problem. We are still on, will the self power car replace EVs? Now the second factor also we're also going to consider is the downtime. How many hours does the electric car on average takes to charge from zero to 100%? And when we took a look at that, I think it's going to be okay, taking almost these like two competitors five hours to make have this gigantic flaws that make them be unfit. However, if you're charging it from your home, it's a different bargain. It's going to take maybe twice or even three times that very amount. And don't even get me started with if suppose you are living in an African country where there is inconsistency in power, then you might wake up and see that your electric car didn't even get half charged before the power company decided to pull the plug and go black out so with that in mind that's a whole lot of downtime trying to charge up the car unlike the conventional uh, gasoline powered car which you can just drive into the gas station and in less than five minutes you fill up your gas tank and you hit the road so that's the second factor now the third factor which you're going to be talking about is the thema runaway the thema runaway is the tantrum potential which the lithium battery have that when it for any reason encounters any mechanical damage it's not going to stop until it raises the car to down into ashes that is very very concerning and the thermal runaway is also one of the critical problems or factors which a lot of people who want to buy these electric cars have to consider if you have a garage and there are i mean you want to have a very good sound sleep but you're going to keep one of your eyes open because it can self-ignite if the circuit inside for any reason maybe one of the big ICs decided they want to go and have fun. The battery is going to self-ignite and it's not just going to raise the car down, it's also going to raise the entire building, your home down. I've seen situations like that about Tesla and some other cars. So it is a core to concern. We've listed like three, right? And uh, expanded it to a little bit like 3A or 3B, right? I want to talk about another aspect again the cost of replacement of the battery it is huge you're talking about from twenty thousand dollars upward so that's chunk of money which is much just enough to buy a gasoline powered car that they are trying to crucify and fizz out it's not easy for people to squeeze out that kind of amount of money and we're talking about maybe who knows less than 10 years and uh you're talking about replacing the battery so that's a huge chunk of money which a lot of people can just squeeze out like that so it depends on the comic and model though some can actually even get over forty thousand dollars so we're just giving on average price it's going to be around twenty to thirty thousand dollars now if that is not enough well you've got to consider the resale value the resale value is going down a lot of people are preferring to buy brand new evs over buying a used ev because of concerns of tamar runaway or battery degradation and you name it so for the fact that the price is going down makes the electric cars not really as greener as it is now if we look at it on the other aspect of it on the context of green solution a renewable energy the electric car is not completely a renewable energy yes it doesn't have uh, uh, it doesn't emit any emission right however most countries are generating the electricity through the fossil fuel so if you were still using the fossil fuel power to charge up your electric cars that's like having a generator at the trunk and connecting it to the charger and still claiming that you're driving an electric car that is stupid and if that is not enough well 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 my friend 
what I'm going to tell you here is maintaining electric cars are way expensive. You change tires more frequent than you change your gasoline cars because it's, this tin shed is heavy. So when we talk about the cost of maintenance is high, the battery replacement, the thermal runaway, the downtime in charging when you go to charge it, and the long hours, yes, not to talk about it, the range anxiety and uh, lack of, which is the last one, lack of charging infrastructure which you're going to be using to charge this car. For instance, in Nigeria, in some other countries in Africa where there is no charging infrastructure, everyone who have electric car have to be charging at the comfort of their home or from the generator. So you know what that means. So all these are range of problems, not to talk about mining the rare earth minerals, cobalt, lithium. In Congo, DRC Congo, they have the chief of them that is causing child labor. I know a lot of you guys who are driving, they don't care or give a shit about that. But let's be real here. There is no way you have all that chunk bucket of problem endless still going up there. And not talk about how much you pay to charge up that car. So the question is obvious. When you have a self-powered car, a Maxo Chikumbuso car, you don't need to recharge it. There is no downtime in waiting. There is no need for charging infrastructure. There is no need for gasoline. The the minimalistic design which uh, Max Chikumbuso have designed our car makes it not to be that complexity so that the maintenance can be easy. And therefore, it gives you faster, uh, it's have faster talk and that thing shits really speeds. I think it's about a 215 horsepower for that mid-size SUV. So with that, you can go wherever you want to go and it's unlimited driving range. It's unbeatable. No matter any car in the world right now, you can talk about it's unbeatable. You can't compare it. Now, aside that, we also come down to the purchasing cost. I failed to actually mention that on the EV, the purchasing cost, the first purchasing cost is alarming. Let's take, for instance, a cyber truck that a lot of people are squeezing $140,000 to buy. And uh, it has a little bit of a similarity, just glitch uh, with the support car. It can put up to 11.5 kvs of power to power up your home which is quite an impressive feature but the figures of that very car is staggering that's the cost of a high performance supercar that's that's real that is powered by gasoline now if we go back a little bit again the government's incentive in order due to the whatever the green energy solution green environment that's the reason why you still purchasing it. Uh, I mean, if it is not it, okay, look at the Trump, Trump tariff because the Chinese ones are cheaper and they impose a tariff, a huge tariff in order to make the importation to be more expensive so that if it's expensive, you're going to end up buying the American-made ones that are from Ford, GM, Tesla, or whichever one, but not the one outside the US because if you import it, the tariff is going to be huge and that is to discourage you from importing anyone from China that's going to be cheaper. So with that said, if you check all this, it is an equal comparison. You are buying it less than $20,000. That's $15,000 according to Max Ochegumbuso, which is way cheaper, less than half cost of replacing your battery in your average EVs. And no charging, no fueling. It's drive, you, you buy it and it's you drive till you, when you get tired, you drive till infinity. He did actually predict that it can be able to last up to 20 years with a microsonic energy device, but I'm not sure it's, it's going to last more than that. So guys, I believe from this very critical analysis comparison between the two, the separate car on the right and the electric car on the left, you can be able to see that they are unequal. The separate car is here and the electric car is here. The gap is immeasurable. So there is no way people would prefer to buy the one with a lot of charging, infra charging uh, infrastructure, carrying generator in the trunk when they can drive one for free for a lifetime. So let me hear what your thoughts are on the comment section. Keep it positive, optimistic, and uh, we'll be sure to have this very conversation. See you on the next one. Bye for now. I remain Dr. Kuo Fix. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and tell me what you think. And for a lot of you guys who are thinking that this is a hoax, let me update you. The president of Zimbabwe have provided $3 million for that project. 
and let me still update you again a lot especially a lot of you guys who are western guys if you think it's about to scam you well you can hold up with your money right because max ochikambusos in his words say his focus is on africa i think that's shocking to you right so africa get to adopt it first because they're the one that is suffering more of the energy crisis than the european so it's af after african then for those of you who are still feeling that it's a scam you can you might also stay with your teslas your BYDs, your NEOs, your all the Chinese tycoons, or even the Kaivi that are not said Kaivi. You can still buy those ones and keep using them. While Africa ride endlessly, drive endlessly on a self powered car. So don't worry about this scam, we'll take care of it. It is our own business, it's our own technology.